the stigma. I don't go to synagogue. I don't go to church. I don't drive that $75,000 car. I don't fit in. That's a stigma. That doesn't make you a bad Jew. That doesn't make you a bad Christian. If you don't go to, to, to your call to prayer, that doesn't make you a bad Muslim. None of that matters. It's how you connect. It's what that looks like to you. I have more people in my congregation come up to me and tell me how bad of a Jew they are because uh, they didn't come to Shabbat services in the last couple weeks. Oh, I haven't been here in a while. I've, this is just the farthest thing from the truth. The fact that they're there, the fact that they're engaged, the fact that they even make that comment means that they care. And sure, there's a little bit of guilt involved within their, themselves, but that should never detract from the fact that you have pride in who you are and who you can be moving forward. And that is what drives me crazy when people of faith who want to be faithful but they want to do it in their own relevant, relatable way are getting in their own way. All of us who feel as though we don't fit in here, we don't fit in there. Or, oh, it's this, it's that. It's like, let's take any of this stigma out. Let's take any of this competition, any of this judgment. And probably the thing that makes you feel like a misfit is actually your most unique gifts. Absolutely. So. So what can we do to bring you back, as I call it, this self-revolution, right? This, this self-revival.